What's up, family? This video about to be about men is better cooks than women. <laughs> Especially nowadays. Now, nah, don't get me wrong. It's some women that can throw down. I ain't saying all women as bad cooks, but modern women, I say women from 50 years old on down ain't hitting on nothing in the kitchen. It's some, though. You know, don't get me wrong. It's some. It's some younger women. And to y'all, shout out to y'all. But men are better cooks. From me knowing what I know, from me knowing the dudes I know, and 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 and, and, and knowing the you know knowing the women I know, the men is better cooks. Even on Facebook, I mean, um, well, if I say Facebook, even though I ain't looked on there in about two years, but on social, I'm gonna say social media. When you see good cooks on there, it be the men with all the cooking videos and all that. It be the men. Now, it's some women with, with cooking videos that be all right, but it be the men on there throwing down, man. And it ain't got nothing to do with no, um, they try to say, oh, nigga, gay or something. I, I know I ain't never, you know, gay. What I, I don't want to get my video shut down, but G to the A to the Y, men can't cook you know what i mean they can't do nothing because they be trying to be so so feminine you know what i mean but a real man a manly man a get in that kitchen a get on that grill all that you know the the best men the best barbecuers are men the the best men the best people in the kitchen is men like we throw down <laughs> and i seen the post uh, I seen somebody share this on, on YouTube today. Somebody put, he said, my mama thinks she got through, through down on this Thanksgiving. He said, girl, that food was nasty as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, man. And shout out to AC, uh, um, accountability, something like that channel the dude ac shout out to him that's where i got that from that's what made me want to make this video these these females can't cook Ugh. and a lot of them be nasty like they don't even wash their hands you gotta tell women to wash their hands i done knew that from from my experience with women I got, man, I, I mess with, I deal with fine-ass women. You know what I mean? They fine to me. Thick ones, skinny ones. I even got BBW, fine ones. You know what I mean? But a lot of them, I had to teach them how to wash their hands. Like, damn, baby, wash your hands. You look good. You got on all that perfume and that nice outfit on. And your hair looking fly, them nails done. But they come in and just start eating. Without washing their hands. I'm like, baby, wash your hands. I done told women that. A, a lot of women deal with all that fast food. Oh, man. They eating all that fast food, that nasty fast food. I ain't ate fast food or no restaurant food since 2014. <laughs> I bought my kids some chicken swarmers um, a few weeks ago. Because I know that just grilled chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, you know, and they they mama, they mama feed them meat. I don't eat no meat, you know what I mean? But they mama feed them meat. She don't feed them no restaurant food or none of that. But I know chicken swarmers is from that um, Bucrest mainly clean, I think. You know what I mean? That's why I dipped off and bought them that a little treat. But I ain't ate no fast food since 2014 or no no restaurant food, period since 2014 to 15 or something like that around that time. But a lot of these females dealing with the fast foods and all that. And then the ones who do cook use nothing but chemicals. You like, I see this one lady on, on, um, on, on, um, YouTube. Her name is Clement, Clementine and the kiddos. That's her name. 
And shout out to her. You know, I don't want I don't want to talk bad to her because she do cook for her kids, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But she cook all chemicals. Oh, I'm gonna show you our video. She cook all chemicals and pork. They eat pork. I'm gonna make a video about them Aboriginals too. Sister Betty, her old George um, uh, Wheezy Jefferson ass. Uh, cigarette, not a cigarette voice. I can't stand that old bitch. <laughs> Sister Betty, she on there. She gonna put some dishes on there. How Indians celebrating Thanksgiving? I know they, they you know, it ain't. Some people we do what they do with them elbows. They just do anything. They be celebrating Christmas. They get they eat pork. They ain't got no, you know, no values. <laughs> they got good information with no values. Yeah, but they, I see Sister Bethy put some nasty looking dressing on there. Just can't cook. And she, she fifty something. That's why I said fifty something on down. Put some nasty looking dressing with some raw pork all on us, all on it. Ugh. Chemicaled up. Some she, then she gonna put a cake, box cake on there. Some what's that? Duncan High's looking cake on on YouTube. Man, women can't cook. My homegirl, I talked to her today early in the morning. They in the car. Her homegirl gotta get out of there. Oh, oh, she about to shit on herself. I got shit down there. Eating all that nasty ass Thanksgiving food yesterday. <laughs> she about to shit on herself. She had to hop out of her car. She like, damn, my homegirl about to shit on herself. <laughs> Bitch, let me out. She <laughs> hopped out of her car. She like, she shit on herself. She, she had to run in the house to, with the runs to shit because she probably ate that nasty ass cooking. She cooked or either her mom or her grandma cooked. Man, females can't cook. Just look on, just look on YouTube. I be scrolling past it. It be the men that be throwing down, man. Men be clean. My homeboys. One of my homeboys had a girl couldn't cook. He like, man, she ain't rinse off the lettuce or none of that. Did. You know, he was on her head. And he cook. I taught my my baby mama how to cook. She knew how to do a little something, fry a little pork chops and all that. When I met her, I taught her how to cook dressing, macaroni, greens. You know all that cabbage. Oh, all the big stuff. I taught her that, man. Nah, I come from a family. My, the women in my family could throw down. Even though I ain't even ate my mama cooking in years. I ain't even like, I used to love my mama cooking growing up. But I, I stopped liking my mama cooking because I started cooking. And I seen where she was missing at. <laughs> but not my granny. My granny throws down. But my granny, 96 years old. You know, the women of the old days used to throw down, but even the men back then, they pop out. You know, my daddy, my daddy used to know how to throw down. Still do. He, you know, he let his woman do the, the macaroni and all that, that, but my, man, my dad got to cook, man. My dad, when he used to cook for me back in the day, man, he used to make stuff, you know, like Bill Cosby, bacon burger dogs. And he get on the grill. My dad had the coldest ribs ever. You know what I mean? All that. Everybody know my dad throw down, man. Me and cook. Where Everybody know, get, get your food from grandpa. My my baby mama, her granddad, she said he was the coldest cook. Put it down. Me and me and are better cooker, man. These women nowadays don't know how to cook. And I'm going to show you all a video of the Clementine lady. She be cooking for her kids, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but she cook all chemicals. Let me pause this. Okay, that's her right there. Fair use for this. Look, she be cooking, you know. But look, and then she got that big, ugly nose ring in her nose. Like, you can't cook for me with that. It's like a booger. Look at them chemicals. She took a puff pastry wrap. And I, you know, you can't cook no puff pastry for me. That's chemicals. She cooking chemical turkey bacon even though she always cooking pork but look at that nose ring and don't get me wrong she fine in a motherfucker I ain't gonna lie she fine as hell but why she got that nose ring Ugh, you can't cook that shit like a booger you can't cook for me like that I don't want nobody cooking look at that <laughs> she thinks she done did it up <laughs> I see the making little turkeys <laughs> uh, shout out to baby she made little, got some little eggs 
<laughs> Sunny D chemicals. You gonna kill your kids, baby? You gonna kill them? Damn, you gonna kill them and then give them some apples and shit. Look at that poison. That nasty ass poison turkey bacon. Look at this. This say Thanksgiving dinner for my kiddos. I'm about to go through this. Fair kids. use. First off, baby, you she just seasoned up a turkey and cooked it right then. It's burnt to shit. But but she cooked a, a seasoned up a turkey right then. Baby, you supposed to season that up. You supposed to season that like three, four days before that. Had that marinating because it's a big ass dry turkey. And then you supposed to cook that upside down in broth with the breast and the water. And then at the end, you flip it over almost at the end and then brown the top. That way your turkey be juicy. Pshuh. And she got that nasty looking nose ring. Yuck. Well, hold on. What is he doing? Putting poison in them green. That Mac uh, put eggs in it. You don't, you don't need no eggs. Hold on. Let me pause her. You don't need no eggs and all that. All that poison. She don't know. She needs somebody like me to teach her. Cause she she on the right path. She cooked for her kids. She fine as ever. I ain't gonna take that from her. But she got that ugly nose ring and her face be still like she got <laughs> like a, a syndrome where she can't smile or something. I ain't never seen her smile. Cause I watch her videos sometimes. But look at the poison she using. Burnt that Mac. What's she cooking? Uh, uh, Campbell soup, poison. She using poison. See, I'm going to show y'all how to do it because I'm going to make me a fee soon. Uh, see? Look, she fine, though. I ain't going to take that away from her, but she got that nasty looking nose ring. Yuck, baby. That shit look like a book. Ooh, look at that food. That shit burnt. <laughs> Women can't cook, man. Her kids probably be like, Mama throwing down. Mama ain't throw no down. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And I should show y'all her, the lunches she packed for her kids. It be all poison, cheeses, them poison juices and all that. Baby, you need to elevate. Welch's. You see that Welch's juice back there? Come on, boo. You got to elevate. Uh, them kids shouldn't eat that shit. <laughs> they ain't even eat that shit. <laughs> okay, this is a video of her packing lunch for her kids. And I'm with that. I always used to pack lunch for my kids. But look at that, chemicals. Look at them kept cheeses. You know, them, them chemicals, baby. It's good you're doing that, but I thought you packed lunch for your kids not to eat chemicals. She packed them like a thousand things of chemicals. Welch's juice, look, a, a brownie or something, all that cheese is, baby, you killing your kids, boo. You killing them. You fine, though. But you got that ugly-ass nose ring. Yup. I'm about to end this video, man. And I know y'all ain't gonna watch it to the end. You know what I mean? But shout-out to um, Clementine and the kids. You know, that's a beautiful little sister. And she do cook for her kids, but that's just showing you women can't cook. <laughs> And she using all poison, baby. Start, you know, start using clean things for your kids. Research clean food for your kids. Don't poison your kids and kill them. You know, a lot of women get their kids poison and fast food, McDonald's and all that. Well, you know, we got to elevate family. Well, that's the end of this video, family. But women can't cook. Ah, men are better cooks. And for sure, research it.